Hey, what's up, people? It's Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com, and I had so much fun with the last video, the uh, Street Beef reaction that I did that I decided to do another episode. So with that being said, we are checking out Shaggy versus Money Mail. But before we get into the fight, don't forget to smash that like button. Sh liking and sharing the video is the best way to get us to help to continue to grow as a channel. We're pretty small right now, and I love making these videos like this for you guys, and I would like to be able to continue to grow. We can't do that without you guys, so smash that like button, share the video to all your friends, and let's get into this fight. Shaggy versus Money Mail. What do we have here? Let's check it out. It's boxing. They're actually in the gym this time. That's a step up. The last one we did, they were boxing in the dirt in somebody's backyard in the cold, but they had a gym in an actual ring this time. That's what we got right here. I don't really need to see all of this. Come on, skip through all of your ads or whatnot. All right, here we go. Round one. I'm assuming... <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Money Mail is the black dude and Shaggy is the white dude. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. So, off the bat, Shaggy has definitely got the reach. Money Mail, Money Mail doing a good job working his way inside. Working around the jab. Nice body shot. Money Mail got the right game plan. This is exactly what you need to do when you're fighting a guy that's got a reach advantage on you. You want to work your way inside and get busy in there. Body head, combos, punches and bunches. He's doing a good job. Working around Shaggy's jab. The ring is pretty small too, which also works in the favor of the shorter guy. <clears throat> Because if you're shaggy, then you want to try to dance around and keep your distance as much as possible. But with the size of this ring, it make it easier to walk him down. And Money Mail is doing a good job at cutting him off. That's round one. Round one, I get a Money Mail, man. He had more activity. Shaggy really wasn't doing much stuff. Nice, nice. Excellent job at getting around that jab. That's the counter for the jab. They shoot the jab back, you go on there and jab to the body. Good job. Nice head work. Nice. More body shots. There we go. I would I would, I would like to see Money Mel go more up top too. Work, work more combos to the body and then up to the head. He landed good body shots, but he's not really punishing Shaggy up top. Hey, Shaggy is trying. <laughs> Shaggy is trying, but he got to move his feet, get on his bike. But it's easier said than done because Money Mail has actually got good footwork here. Look at the ref. <laughs> What's on the ref head? <laughs> is that a ref? Oh, it's a beat. I thought it was a wave cap. End around round two. Why is the ref also refing in Tim? <laughs> or Lugs? Is that Lugs? It look like Lugs. I got to give the first two rounds to Money Mail, man. Money Mail doing his thing here. Oh, that's what happened when you jab with a guy that's got a longer reach. You never really want to get caught up in jabbing with the taller guy because he can land from where you can't. What's going on here? Yeah, when you jab with the taller guy, the taller guy can land when you can't. So you really want to pot a jab out there and make him think that you're going to throw it and kind of use it as a distractor. But the jab is not where you really want to go with a taller guy because he landed and you not. Look like we frozen here. Let me see if I can get this thing back going. Come on, man. Don't tell me I'm going to have to reboot the whole thing. What's going on here? Hang on. Technical difficulties. Here we go, I think. All right, we back. We back. Are we back? Now we back. Okay. 
We back. So yeah, uh, if you the type the, the shorter guy, you really want to work your way around that jab because taller guys love pawing the jab like that. Nice, nice, good body work. Going back up top, body head. I'm liking what I'm seeing with Money Mail, man. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Nice. Nice. Good body work. Good body work. Be on him. Stand on him. Stand on him. <laughs> Not letting him rest. Stand on him. <laughs> we only going three or we going... <clears throat> what? What? Oh, okay, they're going to cry reaction. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Try yeah, all right. I was about to say, man, it looked like they screwed my boy Money Mill for a minute, but apparently the way they picked the winners on Street Beasts is they let the crowd be the judges, and they made the right decision on that. Well, Money Mill definitely came out with the win on that. Now, what we take away from this fight is, like I said, I take it, I'm, I have an affinity for shorter fighters because I'm a shorter fighter, so... Uh, I had to learn tactics on how to get inside against taller guys who want to try to keep their range and pot a jab. Money Mill did a good job at working his way under the jab. He had nice head movement. He was able to work body head combos. And overall, he came out with the win. So, I mean, if you enjoy me seeing me do videos on fight commentary and fight reaction videos like this, then hit the, the like button. The first video, it did okay. I mean, it's doing okay so far, but at the end of the day, I like doing these. This is pure fun for me. So, if nobody watch it, then, you know, at least I'm having fun by calling fights because uh, I enjoy watching them, I enjoy talking about them, and I enjoy giving my insight and commentary on them. And if you do want to see more videos such as this, then hit me in the comment section and let me know that uh that you like them and that you w w want me to do more videos. I also want to start doing videos on where we kind of talk about more of the crazier fights. Because I'm the type of per I'm the type of dude, I'll watch whoever fight. <laughs> I'm just a fight fan, man. If I see two bums fighting on the side of the street, then I'm pulling over to watch it. <laughs> I'm a fight fan, man. What can I say? So if you're fighting, I'm watching. But with that being said, I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com signing out until next time. Peace.